only in the world's largest train terminal could you find New York City's largest ground floor office. It was built for John Campbell. He had a bond rating firm in which he was rating New York Central Railroad bonds. He was also a large shareholder in New York Central Railroad stock, and was also a close friend of the Vanderbilts who owned all that. As a result, Mr. Campbell was given this magnificent office apartment with marble walls and stained glass windows, a fireplace, hand-painted ceiling beams. By the time the 1960s and 70s this apartment got to be in disuse. A million little cubicles shoved in here as a police office for the MTA Police Department. The beautiful fireplace was where they stood up the prisoners to have their mug shots taken. It wasn't until Mark Rosick, who took over this room, brought it right back to its original look. You know, it seemed to us the first thing to do, why not just restore what's here rather than create something differently? And that's exactly what we've done. And over the years, you know, we had workmen on their backs uh, Sistine Chapel, like literally with little brushes, painting the ceiling and stripping it to see what colors it was. And it was really a joy and a privilege to have a chance to do that. And we're finding people enjoy hearing about the heritage. It gives them something to talk about. You know, it's more than just coming to a great bar, it's coming to a great bar with history. Now, this seemingly secret bar is so popular, just try and get in here. It's also rated as one of the most romantic bars in New York City. Indeed, a title it definitely deserves.